Hey everybody, this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make this feather butterfly shawl. And this butterfly shawl is the tenth one in the series. I had debated whether or not to make a book. I'm still not 100% sure, but my husband asked me, do I plan on continuing to make more butterfly shawls? And I said, yeah, of course. So he thinks that uh, maybe it'd be a bad idea to make a book because then some people may think um, some butterfly shawls are in there that's not and it could cause issues. Plus, I don't have a, a way to distribute because uh, the shops that I use right now won't let you put a, a book on there or a, a file on there that big. So for now, I'm just going to continue to sell them individually uh, So unless something else comes up. But this is number 10, and for the number 10 one, I wanted to do something a bit more special. So I tried to use a stitch that actually resembled little butterflies. This is upside down. So maybe if I turn it like this. See, they look like little butterflies. I thought, oh, I gotta make something out of this. So I decided I would make the 10th butterfly shawl with this stitch. So I did this whole shawl using a skein, a yarn cake, sorry. It's a yarn cake like this. It's from uh, the same company, Yarn Art, from their flowers. I bought all these at the beginning when these were big, so I still have, I have like 10 of them. So these may start to get out of stock. I don't know if you can find any, this flowers one anymore from Yarn Art but I'm sure you can find uh, a lot because they're coming out and they're looking even better and better and better. Um, but uh, this was a, a whole, and this is a, a thousand meter skein. It says a thousand meters, uh, which is 1,093 yards. Um, it's 250 grams and eight, uh, 0.8 ounces. But you can find out all the information you want about this yarn on my, my website. I'll put the exact yarn cake that I used on there and everything you need to know about this. But this shawl was made using the whole thing. I just crocheted it until I ran out of yarn. And this fits my uh, daughter who is 14. It fits her perfectly. For me, I'm a little bigger, so I would prefer a shawl like the V-Stitch Butterfly Shawl. Something really big like that. But I can still fit this one. It's just like a, it's a short shawl. So uh, to make this shawl, like I said, you need the the yarn cake, but you also uh, are going to need a four millimeter hook, which is a size G hook for the U.S. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be using a thicker ply yarn, and I'm going to be using a five millimeter hook. But this just for the tutorial so you can see the stitches and everything uh, really easily. So go ahead and grab those supplies and I will see you in a minute. Oh, I wanted to mention real quick that the size of my shawl was uh, 49 inches wide or 124 centimeters wide and the tallness of it was 23 inches or 59 centimeters. Okay, so to start you want to chain three and then you're going to slip stitch in this very first chain and hold I like to hold my chain here so I don't lose it and then you'll chain three and this will be row one so for row one you want to double crochet six into this ring this chain three here will count as a stitch so the total stitches for this this row will be seven. So go ahead and double crochet six. And I also like to go ahead and, and uh, go over my tail. Actually with the, the shawl, I don't do that because it's not, a, not tightening of the round. So you don't actually have to work over your tail. Put your six double crochets in your ring. Two, three, four, five, and six. 
two, four, six, seven, because the chain. So I have seven stitches total. Okay, for round two, you want to chain three and turn. Now in the same beginning stitch, you want to put another double crochet and then chain two and then again in the same stitch put two more double crochets then you're going to skip the next stitch next post and then the following one you're going to put let me just make sure here skip a stitch then you know then double crochet you're going to repeat the same thing for the rest of the row you're going to skip a stitch two double crochets chain two and then two double crochets back into that same stitch I like to follow along just to make sure that I'm getting the right see this one is the one that I just worked the shell in then we're going to skip this next one so then the next stitch you want to repeat the double crochet two chain two and double crochet two all worked into that same stitch then you'll skip the next and then this ending chain you'll put your two double crochets chain two two double crochets worked in that top ending chain And that gives you four individual little spaces. Okay, for row three, I don't know if I'm too close here. Okay, so you wanna chain three and turn. Now this chain three counts as a stitch. And we're gonna be working in our spaces and the spaces between the, the two shells here. So we have a shell here and a shell here, or a butterfly and a butterfly. We're gonna be working in between as well as in the chain two spaces we're going to be uh, doing this is an increased row the chain three counts as the first double crochet so you want to put your second double crochet in the chain two space so you'll put one double crochet in the chain two space then you're going to chain two and you're going to put a two more double crochets in that same space so it's just like you were doing before, but the chain three will count as that second part of the shell. But from now on, in all the spaces in between and in the spaces, all these spaces you're in this row, you're gonna be putting two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. So again, in the space between the stitches, this is some old yarn I'm using, so it likes to twist on me. Put two double crochets, chain two, and then in that same space, put two more double crochets. Then find the space in between the shells, this one. And again, put two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Then in the next one, two double crochets, chain two, then two double crochets. Ah, oh, my yarn is getting so old. I really need to trash this yarn. This is my last space in between the shells. I think I'm gonna throw this yarn away after this tutorial's over. This will be the, its last job. Okay, in the last stitch here, I'll put my last two double crochets, chain two, 
and two double crochets. Okay, so that was the end of row three. So for row four, you want to chain three. I believe it's chain three always. Now chain three and turn. Then you're going to double crochet. You're going to be increasing your double crochets this row. You're going to be putting a uh, three in this first one. Remember this chain counts, so essentially you have three already just by putting two double crochets in that first stitch. You'll chain two and then now you'll double crochet three more. One, two, three. And this is not an increase row, so you will only be using these stitches of the shell in between not in between the shells, just the shells themselves, that chain two space in the shells. So move over to that next chain two space and you'll put three double crochets in it, chain two, and then three double crochets. And you will repeat this for the row continue to put in your chain two spaces only, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, and I'll see you at the end of row four. Just finishing my final three double crochets in my last shell here, and that ends row four. So rows five and six will be done exactly the same way and you want to chain three and you'll be putting four like you did. You did three, you've done two, now we're going to be increasing it again. Remember, this chain two, I'm sorry, the chain three always counts as a stitch so if you're needing to put four, you're doing it in sets of four now, then you want to at least do the very first one only three double crochets because you need to count this as the fourth. So then you'll chain two, and then you'll put four. If you don't count as a stitch, then you're gonna it's you're gonna be adding here, and you don't want to do that. If you find that this is a little bit too much for you, then you can make it a chain two instead of a chain three, because it's just for the border. So if it's too floppy for you there, then do chain twos instead of chain threes. So we did our double crochet uh, three, counting this is four, chain two, double crochet four, move over to your next petal of your shell, and you'll do four double crochets. I want to call them butterflies, but I don't know if you <laughs> No confuse you or not. Okay, so I got four double crochets, chain two, and then four more double crochets in the same space. And again, only on increased rows you use the space in between the shells or the butterflies. So but this is not an increased row and neither is six. So rows five and six, you're only going to be using these little spaces in between, I'll call them butterflies, in between the butterfly wings. So go ahead and put double crochet uh, four, chain two, double crochet four in each one for row five and then chain three and turn and then do the exact same thing again. You'll put three at the beginning because remember your chain will count, then you'll chain two, put four and then each one you'll put double crochet four, chain two, double crochet four and continue that to the end. So I'm going to see you at the end of row six. Okay, so this is what it looks like at the end of row six. And remember that this last one is the chain that fits with the uh, double crochet. So be careful, don't put a, a, a butterfly in that one. So now for row seven, we're going to be doing uh, the exact same thing that we did and this shawl is pretty much the exact same thing. 
but this time we're going to be uh, for row seven it's going to be double crochet five so we're increasing again our amount of double crochets but remember the very first stitch you'll put only four because the chain counts chain two and then double crochet five into this space and you'll want to do that with all your butterflies down your row so continue to put double crochet five chain two double crochet five and you're again only going to be working in our actual butterfly area this is not an increased row so continue to do that for row seven and I'll see you when you get to the end. Okay, so this is the end of row seven. As you can see, I have my five, my five double crochet butterflies here. And for row eight is gonna be an increase row. So let me go ahead and show you that real quick. So for row eight, you're going to chain three and turn. Then you're going to double crochet in this first chain two space. Then chain two and then put two double crochets in this chain two space. So with the chain you have your two double crochets, chain two double crochets. You're going to, on an increase row, you're going to be working in the spaces between the, sh the uh, butterflies too. So you're going to be working here, then here, then here, then here. But it's, all, it's going to be just two double crochets, chain two, then two double crochets. And then in the next in my peak area, do my two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, and then in the space between, do two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So go ahead and do that for this row, row eight, and I'll see you when you get to the end. And I ran out of my tutorial yarn I was using. I was hoping I at least get to the end of this row because this is the last row I really need to show you. I wanted to show you the, the increase row, which I just did with the two double crochets worked in between and in. And that is on row eight. Row eight is an increase row. And then uh, you'll have another one, one more later. I'll show you in a second. I just want to tell you that um, for row nine, which is the next one, uh, you're going to go back to using only the peak areas. Well, actually, the only peak areas you have these now too. So in between those two is now the the extra. So you're going to be using each one. So in between each uh, double crochet, chain two, double crochet in this next row row nine you're going to be increasing again not increasing but increasing the number of double crochets you use so for row nine you'll chain three and turn and then in the first which is this one because that's your chain three space so don't use that you'll put three double crochets chain two three double crochets except for the first one here you'll you'll put two double crochets chain two three double crochets because the chain three will count then you'll move over to your next chain two space and put your three double crochets chain two three double crochets and you'll continue that all the way to the end and then for 10 and 11 we're going to do like we did for rows five and six you'll have four double crochets chain two four double crochets in all of your spaces so it's basically just going to be a repeat and then you'll have uh, the last row that we did with the five double crochets, chain two, five double crochets. But then um, you'll have actually an increase after that. So instead of your, instead of doing like we just did, the five double crochets, chain two, five double crochets, and then you did an increase, you'll actually do 
uh, the next row which will be six double crochets chain two six double crochets and you'll do that for rows 14 and 15 and I'm gonna to write on this tutorial here I'll put up something so you can easy easily follow but there's no need for me to go through every single row just to add one more. I mean, it's just it's super, super simple. By now you know which stitches you're working in and how to do an increase. So that is what you'll have to continue doing. Now I wanna show you on this actual shawl here. As you can see, maybe you can see, see? This is what the row that I just showed you. This is row eight. When you increase your, your row by putting two in each in between and in the actual butterfly. So that's like row eight. And then for row nine, up to, you increase up to six. So you have two rows of double crochet four, a row of double crochet five, you do a row of double crochet six, and then you'll do another increase row, which falls on row four. Uh, it says for row 16 through 21, you're, you're gonna be repeating rows eight through 13, which is basically taking you up to where you have double crochet five again. And then for rows 22 through 25, You'll basically be doing your double crochet, getting caught in the corner here. You'll be doing double crochet six for five rows before you'll have to, to increase again. And then once you increase one more time, back up. Then when you increase that last time, it's just double crochet six. Once you, you have to even, yeah, you're gonna have to do the build up. So you'll have your increase, which the increase rows, you know, are two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets worked in the thing and in between. So once you've got that uh, done, you'll be building up. So the next will be three double crochets, then the next will be four double crochets, and then uh, it looks like, yeah, then you'll do another four double crochets, just like we were doing before. And then you'll do five double crochets, and then after that, it's just six, 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 six until you run out of... Uh, yarn. So you can clearly see there's one increase, two increases, and then three increases. And this is the increase we just did. So basically you're going to do another build up of two, then three, then four, four, five, six, then do an increase, and then you do it again. Three, then four, then four, then five, then six, and then you'll do six for these last five rows here until you get to to do the increase again but then after you do that you build back up to six again and then you just keep doing six over and over and over again it's super easy and I hope that I explained it I hope I over explained it because if I over explained it it means that you understood what I was saying and that's what I go for I'd rather over explain it under explain so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please don't forget to like and share it helps me out so much be sure to go check out the other nine butterfly shawls that I have right now. I'm still planning on uh, making a tutorial for one of the butterfly shawls that I haven't done yet. I think it's the Emperor one. So you can look forward to that one coming out. I'm going to try to get that done sometime this week. Uh, also, uh, you can find out about the yarn, like I said, on the channel. You can find all the links down below in social media. On Facebook, I'm the most active. I post and share pictures every, I, I mean, uh, patterns every day, not just mine, but others too. And at the end of the week, I put something together called a week in review where I share with everyone the top three uh, shared patterns of that week. And I also put it in my newsletter. So if you don't do Facebook, you can still get uh, access to that by uh, signing up for my Facebook page. You'll get a roundup 
my newest pattern or the pattern that's doing the best that week of mine and then the week in review. So I hope you'll check it out. I hope you'll sign up for my newsletter. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.